Good morning, day one, two, whichever day it is. I'm feeling rather seedy this morning and I got out of bed too late for breakfast. As chance would have it, I have found a shop that sells Portuguese custard tarts, pastel de nata. So I think that is serendipity. Who would have thought? So I'm gonna go and get one. Thick, sweet, delicious. Um, heading down these steep, slippery streets to get to the train station, I'm going to go to see Belem Tower. Yep, this hungover fool forgot where he was going and had to record a voiceover later. And as an aside, welcome to the Ash Kid Potentially Mispronounces Foreign Place Names blog. It's so great you could join me. So the rain's holding out for the moment. It's uh, supposed to get wet again in a couple of hours, but uh, in the meantime, I've caught a train out to... Okay, I think this one's Aljesh. Don't actually know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna go and see the famous tower, which is actually fairly significant. It's a World Heritage Site because, I'm not sure if you remember this, it was a while back, but in uh, 1755, there was an earthquake that pretty much destroyed Lisbon. But a few things still stand, and this is one of them. So this was built in the 1500s as like a defensive thing along the river, and it's pretty impressive. Crap. I'm gonna try and queue up, you can get to the top. Looks like the drawbridge mechanism combined with a portcullis, fun word, and several openings on the entrance ceiling through which projectiles were launched made access by invaders difficult. Let's head on up. Warning, narrow spiral staircase with 93 steps. Mind the light signs over the doors, the sound sign means you have to leave the stairway. Go, 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 go. <laughs> That was a climb. It's enough of that, I think. Head back down. It's impressive they managed to build the system of beeps in the 1500s. Okay. All right, I think I'm done. Well, that was really cool. I was not expecting to be quite so impressed. The, uh, I just got a message from my friend Karina to let me know that the Amsterdam flower markets are on this weekend. I'm super excited to see how the tulips go. Hello, this is Nat Ash. Today is International Tulip Day and we're gonna check 
what's here. It should be like lots of tulips. 200,000. Karina, I am so excited about the flower markets. How could I have chosen such a poor weekend to leave Amsterdam and come somewhere much more blustery? It's really windy. So I'm gonna walk down to this one more landmark. This was a uh, like, fairly recent thing built to commemorate the Age of Discovery. Big limestone thing. That's the other thing, I looked up, everything here is limestone. I'm not sure why, but that's what all of the paving, all of that construction, like everything here is limestone. So I'm gonna just pound the limestone and get to this next venue. You can also see over there, this is uh, inspired by Christ the Redeemer. Wikipedia says that 80% of people here are Roman Catholics. So yeah, they built a uh, Christ the Redeemer tribute. I get too much joy from the thought that someone was rolling along and then hit that grate, had a terrible scooter accident, and swore off limes forever. It was, ah, it's bad, but funny. Apparently you can go up there and it looks like it'd be an amazing view but I am getting hungry and need a battery recharge and some caffeine and I have all of these hierarchy of needs, what need filling, so I'm going to... Not happy. We'll be fine. So that's kind of my day trip to Belém. I would probably say if you're going to do it, maybe check out the town itself, because the walk between the monuments is really not much there, and the monument to the discoveries it might be your thing if you want to climb to the top of it, but otherwise I mean, it's not a must-see in my book. So while the Lisbon wet season got the best of me today, stay tuned because tomorrow I am going to the mountains of Sintra in search of an ancient Moorish castle. It's going to be exciting.